Hi everybody, it's Positive Bluebird. All I've been doing is working on a little bit of watercolor today and just resting up through doctor's orders. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so what I do is this type of paper is really cheap. It's almost computer paper. So if it starts to shred a little bit like this, you want to let your art just kind of dry for about maybe 20 minutes and then come back in and you can start adding in your shading and other colors. And then when it is complete, you take a sealer glue that is called Mod Podge and it holds in the watercolor or any type of pen art um, or markers that you have used and it preserves it so that it will not get ruined. All right, so this is what I'm eating for dinner tonight. My son is working, of course. <laughs> um, for the last five years through Project Angel Heart, they have been bringing me food every Saturday. And this is also provided through my kidney doctor's office to make it um, healthy for those that suffer from kidney disease or heart disease or any other conditions. So I thought I would show you this piece of art that I made, oh, maybe about a year and a half ago to two years ago. Um, what I did was I took a hot melting tool that my brother gave me, and it's a, kind of like a wood burning kit, but it also melts pewter. And over here, I melted this big giant piece of pewter, and then I created the birds. And then this bird, at the end here this little pearl one is actually a bead that came with a whole set of beads that I had bought at Michael's a long time ago these are obviously recycled boxes and hot glued glittered rocks a bow and then over here I came up with this on my own um, Inside the box was the original cushion made out of cotton. I think it was a jewelry box. I'm not really sure. And I took a hairpin and then I put this red bead that was already shaped like this on the end of the hairpin, glued it onto these two little um, clam shells, I believe, or mussel shells. And then I put this bead at the top to make it look like an angel. And then the sequin beads around it. Okay, so this is um, a pottery piece that my son had made many years ago. I have no idea when. <laughs> But I know that I have owned it for quite some time. He is 17 and I think it was probably around the second or third grade. I don't remember. But it is still with us. And several of these that he has made, um, I actually have in a uh, keepsake box. Because I feel like I don't want to have every single thing out. <laughs> um, it'll look a little too cluttery. So this just holds our coins for the soda machine or for the laundry. And this is what I had made last night. Um, nothing major, but I just took this extra jelly jar and I put a bunch of paint around it and glitter paint. On the inside is extra wax from the wax burner. When it doesn't smell good anymore, you just pour it into jars or reuse it somehow. And then I just added glitter paint to some of the leaves on this plastic plant. And then if anybody is skeptical of this poopery, it actually does work. My son bought it online. It sounds so silly, but Google it or look it up on YouTube. It's quite funny. Okay, so while still in our bathroom, 
Everything here is something that I have bought secondhand or I have made myself. I painted the shelves and I painted this wood piece that I bought a while back and the parts on the inside frame I actually bought separately and just put it all together and it fit in there perfectly especially this little box the shell it um, I'm sorry the starfish on the outside was actually bought separate and hooked on the outside and then that mug up top on the left with the purple flowers I actually hand painted many years ago before my son was even thought of. Actually, no, I take that back. Um, it was through the daycare and the daycare group just decided to go out one night. Our boss took us ladies out on the town for our hard work and we went to a, par a pottery place called Hot Pots and I painted the whole thing with mountains and trees and whatever. <laughs> and then it was, um, put in the fire, so to speak, to seal it in, I guess, to make it shiny. And then there you have it. Sorry if I'm kind of not talking very good. I have been suffering from immense pain and I was supposed to start some new medication through my kidney doctor's office, but they sent the prescription to the wrong location. So hopefully I'll get it here soon. This here on the outside of the bathroom is just random ugly art is what I call it. Um, when we were homeless in the hotel about a year ago, uh, we just kind of <laughs> made anything and everything that we had in the hotel to try to free up some of the boredom. And there you have it. I just couldn't let it go. I mean, you know, there's a story to everything that we own. So there was a day that I was having um, a pretty rough day and I was stuck at the grocery store because my taxi service forgot about me. And this lucky feather landed on my lap when waiting for the cab on a day that I was feeling sad. I just felt like it brought me a little good luck because the taxi finally showed up and there was miscommunication, but the remainder of my day went pretty well and the sun was shining and it was just a beautiful October day. And that's pretty much it everybody. Happy weekend to you. Peace out and stay positive.